Hello everyone, Nick Rupert War here, and welcome to episode 20 of my beginner's guide Let's Play uh, Duel Will Do List. And today we are going to try to defeat the uh, Piety and Lunaris here in Krul. I have already been in uh, Solaris Temple and uh, Docks to pick up uh, all of those items, and I'll bring them back to Solaris to get the Infernal Talk. So I'm now ready to move on to the warehouse district. Before that, I find all of these rings here. So actually I'm actually going to identify them, see if any of them are good. That's actually a really good ring right there. Actually, that's really good. Let's see if the other one first. Good physical damage, but cost speed I don't need. Again, that's not so bad actually. This one I definitely want to use. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to use it instead of this one. That's a really good ring, actually. Good resistance and all of that. And I'm actually now starting to think about really to... It's almost time to change these boots here. They are they are very good to leveling with, level with, but they are starting to get in too far behind. So let's put all our currency here in my currency area. Let's sell some of the rings so we get more space here before we go in on our venture. And I'm gonna keep this old ring here. I'm going to sell these rings. Now I'm gonna sell that one. That's a very good uh, elemental uh, damage with weapons on this one, but I don't need it, so I can sell it. Good life on this one. Actually, this one, uh, my one I actually might uh, keep. Selling that one. What do I want to add? Sell that one and that one. Getting some more currency to put in, uh, put on our stash, and I think we are ready. I actually get some more divination cards. Romero's banquet. I actually really want that uh, <laughs> five of those cards because it's giving you a really nice ring. Even this one would be awesome. So, I actually find a life leaf as well. I'm gonna keep it there to leveling it up. And actually, how well I get one level, so let's take another axe damage and attack speed. So we can get slaughter. So let's head to Warehouse District and continue our journey. I'm not going to cut anymore now to we for we're gonna reach Piatia. Yeah. So let's see how this will go. I'm actually starting to really enjoy this character now because it's starting to get pretty powerful. I have, I have 7000 damage right now and I'm only on Cruel, so this character is definitely powerful now. So it will be no problem to killing Piety and pretty much kill everything we meet right now. Because we're starting to get pretty powerful here. We're doing really good damage. I don't think I'm going to have time to get to Dominus. Tonight. As you can see, I do quite a bit of damage right now. But you probably saw that in my last video. My protection is not the best, but I don't usually have any problems. The biggest problem I have is uh, I don't have that much mana, and I'm not using blood make yet. And as I said before, I'm actually really considering using uh, mana instead of blood magic. Because it makes things easier, for, especially for new players. Not only that, uh, it may just make that you can, you can in some way have more damage than you would normally allow, uh, normally allow to have. Oh, look at that, the uh, orb of fusion. Let's kill Gravisius when we are here. Actually, yeah, I get rid of you. There we go. And Gravisius are dead. And he dropped Karen Crow. Just to mock me. He's ready to read of these enemies. <laughs> yeah, this character is really powerful. Another thing I really need, I need some, I'm starting to be needing some more life right now. So I think uh, when I get Slaughter, I'm gonna go for more life in the skill tree. Probably go for the big life will. 
Because I have damage, I have enough damage for the years right now. Uh, let's open this one. It will explode and I will survive. There's one more enemy. Or maybe not. That was a really nice uh, box right there. That was a lot of currency right there. Nice. So, let's uh, clear Lunaris. Uh, as I said, I am not going to cut away when I'm fi uh, fighting here in Lunaris. I want to show you the whole fight this time. When I'm actually, when I'm leveling up to level uh, 59, uh, then I'm going to use, uh, be able to use my favorite base type of axe, which are seeds axe. Oh, look at that, a unique ring. Let's take a look at that. Chrome seal. It's not a very good ring, but it's not a bad ring either. It's actually pretty good in the beginning game, in the starting game, if I get bonus. It's not, it pretty much not worth anything. It can be good to have. You're burning, but you died. Yeah, we have unique enemies in this area, which are already dead. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely getting <laughs> more powerful. I'm actually still using crits, and uh, you have an option to actually use crits in this build, but I go think I anyway going to go for the more uh, the safe option, which are not using crits. I'm probably going to. Yes, I'm not planning to take any crit notes, so I am going to go with the rescue technique, no matter what. Because my accuracy is starting to get a little bit low. And I don't have taken any uh, accuracy in this kit, so I'm going to get some accuracy when I take slaughter. But, uh, well, yeah, I'm not gonna go crits. Here we have coal, and the usual thing. I never fight in Cole. I just run away from him because he is very dangerous. You do a shit ton of damage. critiquing things but sorry if I'm a little bit silent today. I'm just a little bit tired. I just been I just been being home from work. And we have find uh, Lunaris level two. Oh, these long loading screens. Oh, there we go. Read of these things. Yeah, I just like getting rid of things. <laughs> I like to say that. A lot. Hmm, I think I went the wrong way. I was actually planning on doing this uh, this episode yesterday, but I had such a bad internet and lag, so I decided, do you know what, this will not be fun to watch and even not fun to play, so I didn't. I just went the whole day and played PlayStation 3, waiting for uh, Dark Souls uh, 3, which is going to be awesome. Hmm. Spinecrank, which have uh, oh, a... Spiritomb. 
It would be dangerous normally, but uh, he's totally get, uh, feeling comfort comfortable in his build right now. So, except when I gotta fight Cole. I don't wanna fight Cole because he hits like an absolute train. I actually have another build guide if I'm gonna talk about move half exile. I actually have another build guide I want to upload. It's not getting done to actually upload it. I want to upload my uh, crit cleave uh, do list, another build I have, which are similar to this one, but it's not the same thing. It is similar, but it's a high risk, high reward kind of build instead. So let's go for slaughter. Let's see our damage. Our damage now with Auros is uh, twelve thousand. Uh, what I'm saying, uh, seven thousand twelve point two. And when with slaughter, it is almost five hundred and seventy higher. I think I said that wrong, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't say that right. But I get, I get, also, I get a lot more damage. Actually, I'm gonna. I think in the, my last episode, I actually forget to include a link into the into my skill tree I'm planning to use. Actually, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this. So uh, my my idea now, I'm taking cleaving. I take slaughter, the big axe note, notes in the tree. I'm I have two options now. I want most of my ability. Either I go this way here to get to this big life wheel here to get constitution. Or I would go in, the, in here to take this Omnute, Omnute Mastery, Warrior's Blood, Heart of the Warrior, then I can even take Born to Fight. So it's two options. I think I'm gonna go for the Armor Way, and I'm going to save uh, the big Life Wheel to later. So I think I'm gonna take this way here. I'm probably taking Diamond Skin, because I like Diamond Skin. It reminds me of one old note in the skill tree, which, or, which was called uh, Diamond Flash, which was down on the do list. Oh man, I missed that note. I'm, I wish it was there. We're talking about uh, old things. Uh, I've so many times said I, I really miss my old uh, self cast t shots build, I used to have. The new Elemental List subclass will maybe actually make it possible so I can uh, do that again do that build again or maybe even when, uh, one of the new uh, subclasses to the uh, to the not to the duelist to the what's the name for him now oh <laughs> Templar one of the Templar subclasses will actually maybe also make me able to that do hurt May make one my old uh, discharge build again because I'm missing that build so bloody much. Uh, it, they actually made that build pretty much unplayable when they actually uh, made the effect on uh, blood rage difference, so you're not was guaranteed anymore to get the uh, power shots, uh, frenzy shots anymore as it was before. And you take physical damage instead of chaos damage, you pretty much uh, kill the idea of going chaos inoculation. But I hope to actually build that build again. I have some ideas for which I can make it on because I don't want to make a fire discharge. I don't want to make a make a lightning discharge or uh, ice discharge. I want to make a fire, lightning, and ice discharge at the same time. So that's the most fun to play. If you ask me. But anyway, I I will come back to that later. Read of him. So let's fight Pyatia. Yeah. Hello, Ipiatia. Do you like my access? Not going good for you, Ipiatia. Oh yeah, try to uh, mail me or something. That's actually going pretty well. Hey, look at that! One of the new gems. Not gems, jewels. I always forget to say that. So, as usual, when you're killing Ipiatia, do not forget this key right here. Do not forget this key when you're killing Pythia. 
if you forget this one, you have to do all of this again. And you don't want to do that. So, let's take a look at this Yule here. It is the one for where the weight of the empire is the one for a heavy strike. Ten percent chance to, to deal double damage, and it have increased physical damage. This is a pretty interesting uh, yule. It uh, definitely have its use it, use it, use it, use it. But I'm trying to say. I'm gonna see this one unique here. Actually, gonna see if these boots are better than what I have. They actually are. I actually really want to use the, those because they are that's pretty amazing uh, life right there. They have some good resistance as well. But let's get the best quest reward in the entire freaking game. So when you're killing Pyatia, you can go to Grigori, whatever it's called, and then you get a book of skill. But not an ordinary book of skill, you get two freaking skill points. So, as I said, I'm going to go for Armor Mastery now, which should increase my. Uh, my uh, survivability tankiness. My survivability and tankiness are already now pretty good. I can always be better. But before I end this episode, let's go and uh, use that key. I want to upgrade a new uh, passive skill tree. I think I'm going to upgrade on the uh, uh, mana version instead. But I'm not really sure yet. But I really need to fix the new skill tree. I think I'm going to have the old skill tree to I have decided on uh, how I, I'm going to use uh, mana instead. Pretty much not that hard, but yeah. I pretty much want to go for Vitality Void because when you have Vitality Void, yeah, and that's a very, very powerful mana note right there. Vitality Void, if you're wondering, is this note here? Or what I'm saying, Spirit Void. And if I take Spirit Void, I am definitely going to take Vitality Void as well, because Vitality Void is just amazing. And uh, actually, if I'm gonna go for mana, I'm probably taking uh, Mana Flows. And then I go to the, this dexterity here, taking all these Life Leech, uh, Mana Leech note here, taking this uh, thing as Spirit Void. And Vitality Void and all of these life leads no, uh, vo uh, notes here. That's my plan at least. And if I ne even need, need more mana, I can always take uh, this note here. So I think I'm gonna go for that. And then I don't need to have any, any fancy equipment. But if you're getting a Soul Taker Axe, which are pretty much my endgame mole, uh, uh, goal on this character when I probably will never get currency enough to buy one and finding one well it's all a chance I can do it but that's a very slim chance so so I don't think I will be able to do that but if you're getting a a soul taker axe don't take all of that mana nonsense right here then you don't you don't need any mana you can use whatever melee attack you want The best way to actually find uh, the area we are looking for is just to follow this road here. You can see, um, I just follow the road here. They have made it much more easier than it was before. They didn't actually need to more search around to find it. So not even I want to get the wrong way here. Because I know uh, the tower is always, uh, the Scepter of God is always on this road here. And actually, uh, sorry for that sound in the background, it's just my mother who are cleaning up our house a little bit. Which are always good to do. That's the unique enemy for this area, that enemy is very annoying. Pretty much killing everything, just so fast that I don't even have a chance to... And we have reached the uh, set of God. I don't know how much time I have passed since I started this recording, but I think it's we're going to be too long if I'm doing set of God in this episode. So I'm going to do set of God in, in uh, next episode, and I may I actually going to do a fair bit, probably do a fair bit on 
Act 4, maybe even actually finish Act 4 in next next episode, because I want to hurry up now, I want to get to endgame with this character. But anyway, hope you guys liked this episode, uh, tell me what you think about it, and i see you all next time.